Hey, Steph Curry. Hey, Steph. Hey, then we got Steph Curry out here. Hey, Steph. Hey, put your put your gas pump in there. Come out at me real quick, man. I'm about to go there, man. Huh? You know it was a joke, bro. Come on, man. We know you ain't Steph Curry. You be somewhere shooting shots right now with Aisha. You believe in the Bible? Yeah. I got beliefs. And I don't know the That's cool. You say you got beliefs, but your beliefs are in the Bible or they outside of the Bible? Both. Both? I say a little bit of both. Okay, cool. Which one is most important? Your beliefs in the Bible or the ones outside the Bible? Outside the Bible. The ones outside the Bible? Cool. So, if the whole black community keeps doing what we've been doing, which is thinking outside of the Bible, where does that leave our community? Where's our community right now? Are we in good, are we in good condition? Not really. Not really. So if the Bible was the way that we were told to walk to keep our community straight, why the hell we keep going outside the book? Okay, let, let me ask you this. In the Ten Commandments, right? Have no other gods before me. Meaning, don't go outside of me. Is that wrong? No. No. The second one. Go, go there. Uh, Exodus 20 and 2. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. Uh -huh, read oh. verse. No, three. Right there. 20 and verse 3. Uh -huh. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. So we really shouldn't think outside of the word of God because he said don't have no other gods. Right? Go to the next one. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. So then he said, don't take no gold, silver, or nothing else and make no images that people bow down to. Do people bow down to the cross? Well, why are they doing it? Because the Bible said don't do that. So if God is speaking to a group of people saying don't do this, but I know black people are the most religious people on earth. Why are we living outside of the book? When the book is telling us how to live better. Right? Jump down to the next commandment. Because that cross is a graven image, right? You have to pour it to shape it. Right? Verse 5. Watch Verse 5. It. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. Thou, you, it said don't bow to it. So why would I throw something on my neck that I'm bowing to? Because God said don't make nothing and put it on your neck that you bow to. Right? Go ahead. Verse no. 7. Verse 7. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. If I say God damn, am I taking the name of God in vain? Yes, sir. How? God, before you say what you say. Okay, cool. So what is the name of God then? Jesus. But you just said God. What about Jehovah? What about Yahweh what about Yehoshua? What about Yahshua? What about Jehovah Jireh? Have you ever heard anybody say Jehovah Jireh down? No. So how is that the name? And I just read off multiple names. That means we must not understand what the name is, right? Watch this. Revelation. Hold that. Hold that. Give me Revelation. You know what I want, right? 1911. 1911. Watch this. Because my big mama talked that to me wrong, bro. My big mama told me if I said, God damn, that I was breaking that commandment, right? Watch this, read that. So book of Revelation, chapter 19 and verse 12. 12. Uh -huh. His eyes were as a flame of fire, uh -huh. and his head were many crowns. His head were many crowns. King of kings, Lord of lords, read. And he had a name written. He had a what? A name written. He had a name written that no man knew but himself. But what? But him, he, himself. So the Bible says, that God has a name that no man knows except for him. Right? Now watch this. Read. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. Because he came back from killing the nations. This is a prophecy. Right? Read. And his name. And his what? His name. Goddamn. God. That's the name. Jesus. Jehovah. That's the name you know? Yeah? Yeah? And his name is called the Word of God. What's his name? The Word of God. So when have I ever said Word of God down? I've yeah. never said it. 
because his name that we don't take in vain is his commandments, right. what he wrote in the book. If the book says not to eat pork and we say, oh, that's a lie, what are we doing? We're taking the name of God in vain. Yes. It's right. not because I'm saying goddamn. So guess what? I'm not going to tell you to walk around just saying goddamn. But if you say it, you ain't in sin. Right. You understand what I'm saying? They lied to us, big bro. That's right. And when I when, when I said earlier, Steph Curry, I was just joking. I, I really said, I'm going to be 100. I, I said it to catch your attention. Huh? I get it all the time. Right. Oh, oh, right on, right on. I said it to get your attention, man. Yeah, all all jokes say, aside. Man. Hey, did he give you a flyer? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right on. So now you understand that the name of God is what? The Word. The Word. So that means whatever you've heard from this book that's commanded of you, don't make it like it's a lie, bro. That's taking the name of God in vain. Now, is that going to help our community or hurt our community? It's going to help us to even know. Right. Very good. Can I show you something real quick? Good. Because one of the most saddest parts about our community is one of the most beautiful parts about our community. Right? We are loud people. Now, understanding that we understand that, did you know God was black? I do know that God was black. Yeah. I, I just feel that in my heart. I've been feeling like okay, this cool. since I was a kid. You so know out of these pictures, which one of these would be Jesus? Out of these pictures? Uh-huh. Wait, like all of these pictures? Yeah. Well, of course, the one on the end. There you go. He was, you know what Jesus was from the tribe of Judah. Right. right. So today, he would be called an American Negro, like me and you. Right. And he yeah. dark-skinned like me and you, according to the scripture. Right. I, I, think, I, think, I think he knew a little more hair, but that would definitely be him. Well, you know what I'm saying? I, I mean, re remember, in the image that we see in Revelation of him, it said his hair was just white. Now, that's just a depiction yeah, we drew to give some yeah just a disciple yeah. a, a different image well, than what everybody used to see. Yeah, you know, he, we don't know, but that's more like what it looked like than this damn devil. Yeah, right. yeah. Because the Bible called this the devil. The Bible called this the beast. Right, because that's the morning star. Yes. That's that's what the morning star is described. Yes, sir. Uh, Guess so, what? Yeah. Though? Guess what? Because morning star is talking about just light, right? No, 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 no. So I, I can't I can't remember like exactly where it's at. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Because at some point in there, they tried to call Jesus the Morning Star. Right. But, right. Right. But right. you see what I'm saying? That was di that was a different term. You see what I'm saying? But it is. as far as Lucifer goes, uh -huh. you see what I'm saying? They cast down the Morning Star to the pits, which is the devil. Yeah. Now you that's see? a very tricky thing. I'm, I'm gonna tell you what that means. Okay. What that's going into is these people. Mm -hmm. When it talks about the 666, you have a spiritual Satan mm -hmm. and you have a physical Satan. Right. Meaning the spiritual Satan has a race of people on earth that are called his children. Right. That is true. Good. That's this race of people. Yeah. So what race am I talking about? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, the, the, the white folks. The white folks. Yeah, I already and know. The I already they know. The, they the sons and daughters of Satan. They got his yeah. spirit in them. I got you. You understand? Watch this. I'm going to make that real quick for you because I don't want you to be caught up on that. Yeah, okay. Satan, the celestial being or the angel, was never kicked out of heaven. Right. All right. Heaven has multiple. It has four meanings in the Bible. Okay. It's too heavy to teach right here, but it has four meanings. One of those meanings means rulership. Right. Okay. okay. So watch this. Job one and six. Yes. It's the book of Job, chapter one and verse six. Read. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to pray to present themselves before the Lord. Uh-huh. And Satan came also among them. You see that? So the sons of God here is talking about the angels. Yeah. Every day the angels go before God, God gives them orders on what they're going to do. Yeah. Right? But it says, who came also among them? And Satan came also among them. So Satan goes up and down in the earth. So if he can still go up in front of God, how can... The church be teaching that he was kicked out of heaven. Yeah, yeah. He was not kicked out of heaven. Right. But watch this, Matthew 11, 12. He was not kicked out of heaven. So there's another Satan that that verse is talking about. Let me show you who that is. Matthew 11 and 12. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 11 and verse 12. Read. And from the days of John the Baptist uh -huh. until now, uh -huh. the kingdom of heaven, the, what? the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of heaven, suffereth violence, uh -huh. and the violent take it by force. So, the kingdom of heaven here is speaking about the land of Israel, the garden of Eden. And it says there were some people in that garden, but some evil people came in and took that from them by violence. Who took Jerusalem by violence? 
Dude, dude, what the? Who took him bye bye? So. Revelation two and nine. Who took him bye bye? Just tell me that, Frank. Who took Jerusalem? Who took the land of Israel? Was it? I don't know. I don't remember. You don't remember? No, no. In really. 1948, okay. there was something called a Balfour Declaration, and it took people from Germany, uh -huh. and it took people from Poland, and from different parts of Europe, and began to sit them or place them in the land of Israel, and today they're called Israeli. Who are the Israeli people? They're white folks. Yeah. That's white folks. Oh, that's right. <laughs> so who is the Satan that took it by violence? No white folks. It's white yeah. folks. Yeah, they discovered it. There you go. Right. <laughs> yeah. there Look, you. man. Look, go. I, listen, I got to go because okay. I got to get to McKinney. Right on. But right on. say, man, I appreciate Read that as he real. walks off. Watch what the Bible says about him, big friend. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 2 and verse 9. The Israeli people that took the land by violence. Go ahead. I know thy work uh -huh. and tribulation uh -huh. and poverty, uh -huh. but thou art rich. He said he knows our works, our tribulations, and our poverty. He said, but guess what? Blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, y'all are actually rich. Read. And I know the blasphemy. And I know the lies. Of them which say they are Jews. The people calling themselves the Jews. And are not. But are what? But are the synagogue of Satan. Talking about Jewish They are the sons and daughters of Satan. That's right. All of the Caucasian race. Yeah, I'm yeah, still enough for white folks. Get the fuck hey, out of here. Do yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm don't just. Do that, I, no, I, 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 because they run everything. You know? Oh, yeah, for sure. Right. Know no, your enemy is. Yeah, exactly. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Make sure you teach your son that, Frank. All right. We got a school, bro. Come visit. Now, don't do that, Frank. That's it. Don't do that. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. And finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord!